Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm on Charger's 2010 VMAG. This is a 21-foot boat that at first glance is like a multi-species walleye boat. But Charger has designed this specifically for the Catfish Tournament Trail. You need to look at this boat, so climb aboard with me right now. At first glance, you take a look at the VMAG and it looks like a walleye or a multi-species boat. So what makes it a catfish boat? Well, it starts with the live well, and that's a 150-gallon chamber there powered by powerful pumps. It wraps around the left corner there. You've got a filtration system that removes the catfish slime from the water and keeps them swimming in fresh water. You've also got a bait well up front that will take a bait bucket and it's got what they call the ICU aeration system that injects air into the water, keeping your bait fresh. Now, as we said, this boat's already going to a catfish tournament angler. He's selected dual 10-foot power poles on here. One thing that I noticed is power pole created this stern light that goes on top of one of those poles. That's a really nice touch. Now remember, a good deal of catfishing comes from a stationary spot. You're fishing with your lines out the back. So Charger has added the underlying LED lights. What those do is light up the area behind your boat so your fishing line glows and you can detect the tiniest strike. Now this boat's been upgraded. It's got two nine inch Garmin displays here and it's got one 12 inch, a nine and 12 at the bow. That's because this tournament angler uses the Panoptix Live Scope on his trolling motor and he's also got a second Panoptix Live Scope transducer that he keeps on a stock that he hand guides to the area he wants to target. The last little touch on this boat you might find on a bass boat as well, that is the Garmin Force trolling motor. You can run it through the GPS system with a hand controller or the foot pedal controller. You've got an oversized pedal pocket down there to give you better ergonomics when you're standing up and fishing with the pedal. The next thing a fisherman needs is a good leaning post. On the aft casting platform, there's a folding chair for that angler. Now that we've defined what makes it a catfish boat, let's take a look at what Charger does to make it a great boat. First of all, all the four deck hatches are aluminum. Those hatches have slam latches that don't lock. So Charger has added a lock bar that goes across the top of the hatches for stowage security. There's marine mat on top of everything on this boat, which gives you a secure, comfortable footing. The left foredeck hatch is designed to carry all the rods you might need on board. You've got dry storage in the other compartments. As you step aft, you still have the marine decking in the cockpit. You've got a brief step up to the aft casting platform, and there's a folding dual station jump seat there. Now the last dry storage compartment is on the starboard side to the right of the jump seats. Now where you might normally have access to your batteries and chargers, You've got the live well on this boat. So Charger has added four large deck plates that are watertight in the bailing well to give you access to your pumps. Now at the helm, you've got a padded three-spoke wheel. On the left side of the steering column, you've got your trim switch. And on the right side, you've got a jack plate switch. Now this boat's even equipped with a hot foot throttle that gives you ultimate speed control as you're on your way to your fishing hole. I like the toggle switches that are here because they've got a circuit breaker associated with each switch. They're water resistant for a long life. You'll notice we have two smart craft gauges on there, and it's a good time to mention that the entire electronic system in this boat with all the Garmin's and the Mercury motor are tied together by the NEMA 2000 network. That's so that everything can show the same chart plotting, the same sonar, and you can read your engine gauges through the screens as well. Now the captain and his passenger get a suspension bucket seat with a flip up bolster. Both seats swivel and they slide fore and aft. The Charger 2010 VMAG is 21 feet of fishing fun and I love the way Charger has designed it specifically for that new professional catfish tournament trail. I'm Randy Vance.